Would you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how to fix corrupt files or disk errors with Spotfix. Well, this is a new feature inside Windows 8 and it's pretty quick. It's much quicker than check disk F and uh, you'll, you'll be surprised how fast it can actually find these errors and fix them. So let's have a look at how to uh, access it and use it. So we're inside Windows 8 here and we've got the Metro system up and we're going to come down to the bottom right and go to search inside here we can type in CMD right click on this and then run this as administrator that's one way of getting to it and as you can see we've got a now command prompt open another way to get to it would be to go to the search box here and then hit computer and from there you can right click on the C drive go properties then tools and then you can run a check from here. Now another way is uh, if you've got start 8 feature we're going to run it from the run bar type CMD right click on this and run this as administrator and again this will open up a command prompt as well. So what we're going to do here is have a look at the differences so we're going to type check disk space forward slash question mark and then this is going to open up some switches that we can use. Now pretty much all of them are the same apart from the six down below the B. So after the B you can see forward slash scan, false offline fix, also perf, spot fix, SD cleanup and also we've got offline uh, scan and fix. So what we've got is forward slash scan here. Now scan is basically not going to attempt to fix anything. What that's going to do is run a scan on the system and then it's going to uh, basically scan the whole volume and try to find any issues with that drive any fixes that need to be done and then it'll log them and put them into um, a system file which will then be accessed when we run the spot fix so once we run the scan this will log everything and then basically we'll run the spot fix which will then use the file that this has been created by the skip forward slash scan and then make those fixes to the drive so let's get started anyway you can see some other stuff here uh, false offline uh, fix and we've also got um, perf which is basically a faster uh, scan than the um, uh, spot fix but the actual uh, offline scan and fix is pretty much the same as uh, check disk f I think I mean don't quote me on it but it's probably the same as that okay so so let's run a check here on the system so what I'm going to do is type check disk and then scan we'll run that and this will run a scan and as I said what this will do is it will create a file on the system it's just checking at the moment it's not going to actually fix anything and as you can see it's a lot quicker inside Windows 8 which is a plus for technicians because it used to take for, for an age basically on Windows 7 and Windows XP so now we've done that it's now created a it's not found any problems so it's no further action but you may have issues and then it will ask you to run spot fix if you've got issues on the system but I haven't got anything on here but what we're going to do is type check disk assuming that we have got issues and then we're going to do spot fix I'm going to say yes to this and the next time we reboot it's going to run this check so let's restart the system I'm just going to quickly restart here Okay, so we'll let this load up now as you should see at the bottom here it's going to run a, a scan on the drive 
and it's going to attempt to repair that drive as well. Now if you did this in Windows 7 and Windows XP it would have took quite a long time to do this check but you'll see how fast Windows 8 can actually do this, it's pretty good. Okay, that's just going to reboot now, that's done the check already. Took less than a minute. So OK, we're back at the desktop and I think you agree, that was pretty fast. Now as a technician, running check disk is pretty normal uh, procedure for technicians and it used to take hours to do that job and as you can see, Spotfix has done it very, very quickly. Now if we would have had corrupted files or disk errors on the system, then we'd have pretty much taken care of that by just doing those two simple commands there. And I'll be uh, covering more U uh, Windows 8 videos in the future, so I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, hit that subscribe button and rate and favourite my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your support. Bye for now.